Hi, thanks for joining me today. I am so excited to show you what I found recently. Um, I came across some agate and geode. And when I say I found them, I mean I found them online and I found them in a store <laughs> and purchased them. I did not find them out in nature, unfortunately, but I did purchase some online. This container that I'm opening right now um, was an online purchase from a, from a store called Total Stones on Etsy. And I purchased about, I think, nine small agate slices that are one, one to two inches, I think the description said. So I'm expecting them to be relatively small, which is fine, because I hope to use them in smaller geode art resin pieces. So it's taped up pretty good and I'm just fighting with it a little bit here to, to get it opened up. Now this took over two months to get to me. I ordered it. The shop said that it shipped from US. I think it said it shipped from Utah, which is really not that far from me here in southern Alberta. But then the owner's profile said that he was in New York and then when I ended up getting the shipping notification it actually said it shipped from India so I was a little concerned I was never going to get this shipment just because it was a little disconcerting to have three different shipping locations coming at me and while I expected it to take probably a month to six weeks if it was shipping from India. It never came. So I ended up having to discuss with the shop owner and the shipping was abandoned and they resent it. And then I did end up getting it probably within about three weeks after that. But it was a little bit of a saga getting this particular shipment. So I'm not going to open up every single one. I bought three colors. I bought this hot pink color, which is so pretty. And it's a really small piece, but inside you can see in that opening the, the little crystal formations. Now I want to say that that's quartz, but honestly, I'm not a rock hound, so I'm not exactly sure what all of it is or <laughs> what the difference is. I tried to research it a little bit online and while it was really interesting, it just kind of got a little confusing to me. Um, but I know that agate and geodes are both specific types of minerals and they have inclusions in them and everything like that. So other than that, I don't know a whole lot, but I really appreciate the beauty of them. And my lighting's not the best, but you can kind of see a little bit of the sparkle on the center of, of these pieces. And the different shapes that people make out of their plywood or out of their boarding, their MDF or whatever they use as their substrate, you can completely see the inspiration, even in these small pieces of where they come up with you know, having a hole in the middle and having the crystals um, when they add the, the crystal points and the glass and everything, you can completely see where the inspiration from comes from. So this one has a little bit more purple in it as well. And you can see the sparkly bits inside there. So one side of these slices is polished and shiny and nice, and the other side is dull, and you can see where they um, cross-sectioned it with their blade or their whatever tool they used to, to cut these. So you can kind of see the marks on the other side. And I'm not sure what a person would do in order to get that shiny again if they would put resin over it or some other type of um, gloss sealant. I'm not completely sure if I didn't want to use the shiny part of it or the shiny side of it. I liked the underside, which is dull, better as far as design and, um, you know, markings and that kind of thing. 
But these are black pieces that I ordered as well. And it's interesting because the crystals that are inside of it are are not completely like not white, not bright white. They're they're some some of them are kind of silvery looking, some of them are kind of yellowish or beigey looking, but still just really pretty. So those are the small pieces that I bought, black, purple, and pink. I don't know if those are the correct names for the colors of agate, but layman's terms, those are the colors. So these items that are wrapped in paper, these are I purchased from a store when I went to Banff for Christmas with my family. There is a, a store there. Um, I think it's called, oh, I should have got the card. Can't remember what it's called. I'll put it in the description. They had, oh, so many stones and natural stones that are just cross-section. This is a, um, a purple geode. It's like half of a small geode. So the top is flat, but the underside is round still with the Oh, Rocks and Gems Canada is what it's called. A store just right there on Main Street in Banff. So I purchased a couple of these small half geodes. A purple one and... Oh, wait, two purple ones. But look at that. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Look how sparkly. And they're like half a sphere, so the underside is, and I don't show you, I don't know why I don't show you here, but the underside is rounded like a rock. They had so many, oh, I could have spent a fortune there. I could have stayed in there for, I was probably already there for an hour picking through, and luckily all the guys were happy to look at everything else that was in the store while I sat on the floor and <laughs> picked through all the, Egg at slices. But here's another um, pink one that is so pretty and it has that that white, I think it's um, chalcedony is what it's called, kind of that crystal quartz looking white crystal look. I believe that's what it's called. Don't quote me on that. But those there's the two of them side by side. I think they're beautiful. in the two geos. I really had to temper myself with how much I purchased. They weren't very expensive. These big slices were, I think, five to eight dollars each and then I, I bought a really big one that was twenty dollars and I'll show you that one at the end so these big ones were really actually quite affordable um, I think they were five to eight dollars each the small ones from Total Stone I think were uh, three or four dollars each I think Anyway, this one has like almost like a malachite look to it. A greenish blue or bluish green, greenish blue. And they used some kind of adhesive to tape them to the to the paper, which is kind of annoying. I'll have to figure out how to get those cleaned off. There's a black piece. I think this one will go really nicely with in black and gold. <clears throat> and those center, those holes in the center are really sparkly. And here's the smaller black piece that came from Total Stones. Sorry, that's my dryer in the background there. So I'll have to get brave and do a bigger piece in order for these agate slices not to look overpowering. 
in order to kind of have some kind of, um, you know, you know, use the proper scale for them and not a huge piece of agate on a small board. This purple one, I saw this one and I was like, <gasps> look at that. You can see the crystal formations in the center of it. This one does not have a hole in it. It is completely self-contained. Um, but the striping. And then along the edges, they have these little circles with rings throughout them. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody do geode art and they put the little circles with the rings around them. And, you know, I could never really understand why they did that. <laughs> now I understand because it is actually part of the agate slice that they have those little rings inside of rings or little rings around the edges of the ring that kind of orbit around the center of it. It's really pretty. I think this blue one has got to be my favorite, well, maybe the purple one. I don't know, but it is so pretty. Unfortunately, this video is not going to do these pieces justice, but hopefully you can see, you can get an idea of how beautiful these are. I'm really excited about these. Um, I went to a gem, so, gem show last spring and I was kind of looking around going, yeah, I get it, I see, yeah. And all of this natural stone is really starting to grow on me. This is the bigger, thicker cross section that I purchased. It was about $20 Canadian, which really is not bad at all for this piece. Look at it. It is just amazing. This is the back side that's not polished, it's not shiny. You can kind of see the, you know, the cut marks or whatever you want to call it. But you look inside, you can see the, the crystal formations and completely understand the inspiration of wanting to recreate a geode art piece. That's what the outside of it would look like. If you're out looking for geodes, you should look for spherical rocks with bumpy or dimpled surfaces. I might have to keep that big one just on the shelf as, a, as an art piece in its own self. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think of all these all these agate slices and geodes. Take care. Bye.